and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your PS4 controller to the GPD or any other Windows PC so you see this adapter right here you connect it come on it's a little rough right there all right there it is so you connect it to the back right here then the light will show up now you get your ps4 control you push this adapter in and then pushes it to to sync you see it'll flash okay so it's in sync mode and now see they quickly paired up so now if you want to go to the PlayStation app, sorry. Now, if you want to go to the PlayStation app, or, or sorry, PlayStation Remote app, then you press the Option button. So this way lets you remote play your PS4. So I don't have my ps4 connected i believe but if i did i'd be able to use this for that now another thing you could do with this is use your um playstation now if you have it if not then just try it out um and cancel right away and you still get to use the seven days so if you don't have an account just sign up um i currently don't but i usually sign up for a year um i did some uh, mortal kombat gameplay in my older videos on the gpd when I first got my GPD, so uh, you could try that out. Um, it plays really good. I, I saw no lag, and I was playing Mortal Kombat. I played other games, but in the video, I show off Mortal Kombat fighting one handed with my Xbox controller, actually. So, check out that video. Alright, so another thing would be Steam. And since it's connected, technically, it should let you. So, even though it's most that adapter is mostly for the remote play, um, you know, it was twenty-seven dollars actually for this controller, exactly this controller, not including the um control freak grip, but twenty-seven dollars for the controller by itself with the adapter. So both of them was that um. So you see, hmm. that game's still not installed yet, so let's just keep trying to play with this. The Claw! <laughs> Must be like Toy Story. This is bright light, might blind somebody in the video. Um, For some reason, this if you've played this game you know it always leads to that menu right there don't know why but yeah I'm about to get like stickers to dim it or just turn off the light in general in total I think you could change it in settings actually on Steam so it's not bad I just haven't done it This is not my favorite Naruto game. It's just the only one that's installed, by the way. It is a good game, but it is not my favorite. And I just bought um, Naruto and Boruto. To Boruto, whatever. Um, and I did pre-order Jump Force. So if anybody pre-ordered Jump Force or is looking forward to playing it, let me know down. I will be doing a video about that because I've been looking forward to that game ever since um, J-Star Victory came out. For the PS3 and PS4. Oh man. That was a good game. Com like, comparably now, the graphics probably won't be as good on the PS3 version, but the PS4 version still holds up for a fighting game. It's fun. Hopefully, they include like some unique um, fighting mechanics that, you know involve all their fighting games because they have various of different ways that they use their fighting games so 
they do got a good um, leveling up system though on most of their games so if you're tired of me playing this game just write it down <laughs> so I could demo a different one um But it's cool to see how many controllers the GPD supports, you know, because you could connect mostly all of them, but some of them aren't really that good, especially wirelessly. Wired, you have a lot more options, but like my mouse, I keep this is a bl actual Bluetooth mouse, no dongles, um, and I recommend that for the um for the GPD win. You know, you want to keep everything as Bluetooth keyboard. My keyboard is on Bluetooth with no dongle. It does bring a dongle, but you don't have to use it. It doesn't require it. And this one actually syncs up to three different stuff. So I have it linked up to my Alienware, my GPD-1, and the GPD-1-2. And then sometimes when I need more for that, because I also got a Lynx tablet, which has the gamepad on it also doesn't play as much games but you'd be surprised with that little Lynx tablet plays um and for streaming it's like the best but um since it uses just a micro usb it's hard to connect regular keyboards to it so i had to get bluetooth for it so it's worked out can't wait for bluetooth uh devices like mouse and keyboards to support more than just three and if you know any mouse or keyboards that have Bluetooth and sync up to more devices, then let me know. Because I got too many devices. I do got a collection of mouse and keyboards, though. But Bluetooth is where it's at for portability. And even, I didn't even really pay attention to the game, but, um, but yeah. So if you use this adapter, like in my other videos... You could use the flash um you could use mouse keyboard and storage or different dongles for your headphones and stuff so I recommend this um this is wait, there they also sell um HDMI switches um they're pretty good um You could just be able to switch out a couple of devices for HDMI. So I first heard about them, but then I used this for my Surface Pro that I had, and it actually worked for everything like Alienware, regular PC, and also. And if the Smock Z ever comes out, I'm pretty sure this would probably be a badass to, um, USB to use like, with it. You know. I don't even know if the volume actually went up. I don't hear anything, but I don't know if my Bluetooth got connected to it. Um, but that's another thing, Bluetooth headphones, either, like, I got the, um, Beats, Power Beats, uh, Power Beat, or whatever you call that. Um, and then the Steel Series Bluetooth, which that's probably the best, um, ear, um, like, actual headphones that work I use I got them for my switch but the Bluetooth part I connected to the GPD because I used the uh, I used these for my phone the lot um I think these were the uh, G LG JBL ones that came they sound really good they, those actually lasted me I got those in 2015 and they've been through hell. I've gotten caught in the rain so many times with them. Every time I thought it was the last time I've been able to play them, but I wouldn't personally go in the shower with them or nothing like that, but 
I've been caught in the rain so many times and they still work so and I've never had to use the extra earbuds that they bring you for replacements so that's good Got me. All right, let me stop playing around. Finish this real quick. You getting serious too? Get him. But yeah, um, like I was saying, these headphones right here, the Steel Series Bluetooth ones, the Arctic 3, really good headphones. Yes, I realized I just got hit, but yes, had to finish it off. So yeah, so I'm gonna either go with Bluetooth headphones that are like this, you know, little earbuds, um, or you could go with you could actually use these for the GPD one too. Okay, and then these. Really good. Wired and wireless at the same time. So if you still got an iPod like I do, you could you know listen to your iPod while you're playing on the GPD. Um, and then if you want to use those for the switch, you can also with this. So you got the Denki, the adapter for the like um I call that for like the dock. This is actually a microphone. And this is the switch stand, which you can hold your switch up. I don't personally use the stand, um, because I got like a couple other longer stands like that give it higher reach. Even um the fan one, I'm gonna try to see if the that fan that I reviewed um has enough space for the Genki. And I'll show this a little bit more off in another video or in the next video. So, alright, if you enjoy, like, subscribe, and comment. Have a nice day.